I was recording a video on why I said virtual work is a scam. So let me explain. I'm here with Pepe, Kaspari, Sandel. We're in a gym in Finland and we're, uh, we're talking about how basically it may be impossible to creative, to come up with creative ideas if you ain't in person with people. Some people are like, oh, I build my business on Zoom virtual work. I, I actually think here's the perfect analogy. If you're a dude and you want to have a baby and you find a hot girl on OnlyFans website and you go to her website, I don't care what you do, no baby's coming out of there. <laughs> no baby. You can be like, but Ty, but what if she's ovulating on the website? Still no baby. In the same way, if you're doing working with all your whole team and you're a business owner, you're going to get f***ing destroyed in the modern world for people who are working together in person. It's not that you can't work from home. I work from home sometimes. But you better be getting in person with other smart people. Because if you get in person with other, I think it's biologically impossible to be extremely creative on Zoom. You can get operations bullshit done on Zoom. Y you can tread water, but no baby. All the creative ideas come from us sitting here, we're lifting weights, talking about new ideas. We got a new Chad GPT, we're gonna build our own GPT for a certain part of the business to automate it. Like, I got Zoom calls every day with my team. I never come up with 3% of the good ideas. I think it's biologically impossible to have a baby with an OnlyFans girl through her website. In the same way, I think it's biologically impossible for humans to create, to be at peak creativity if they ain't looking, seeing, standing. Who knows, maybe it's a pheromone thing. I mean, user, you are guys, so I don't have pheromones with you like I would with, uh, but maybe there's collaborative male warfare pheromones. These used to go to war together. And they have creative ideas to win, like if you ever watched the 300 movie, the true story of the Spartans, 300 dudes held off a million person army, but they weren't on Zoom with each other being like, okay, when they come through the gate. So maybe there's a warfare pheromone that's only picked up in person that increases the collaborative creativity side of the brain. I don't know what it is, but all of you that are fully in love with a fully remote business, I'm gonna beat you. Help that you better hope I don't come into your niche because I've crushed and destroyed, not on purpose, many people who were making money until I got into that niche. Well, you and your virtual 100% Zoom team that only meets each other once every six years, I'm gonna beat you. Not because I'm smarter than you, but because I'm tapped into the true biology of human creativity, in-person creativity. So all you with virtual business is great. All you want to work from home, that's great, but not all the time. You better get out in person with people. Same with closing big deals. I've tried to close $100 million deals over Zoom. You 100% of them were lost. Every deal I've ever wanted that I went in person, flew to where they were, I closed every deal. Hundreds of millions of dollars in a year. But I had a friend who was super introverted. He's like, well, I'll just close them with my lawyers on Zoom. Every big deal, he lost. Because I think there's something we don't even know about biologically. We're still decoding the DNA. Frick, Crick did it, what, in the 1970s? It's already, baby. They're gonna be like, oh yeah, this part of the brain, this part of the synapses is only activated. My guys are getting distracted with Scandinavian women walking by. <laughs> I went by, walked by, I looked over all three. They're collaborating. Yeah, they're collaborating, not with me right now. Anyway, get in person.